or like um, this is a, a short video and it's introducing uh, my new fish as you can see the corals are spreading and doing extremely well it's been a while since I've introduced some new fish since the, um, the crash two months ago the water parameters and everything's all been checked and they're perfect the phosphates disappeared um, Sid the uh, hair slug that was uh, in the tank that enabled to clear up the, all the uh, algae long-haired algae as you can see remnants is uh, of green is still there but it's all gone and I've took him out because um, he was getting a bit small which is telling me there was not enough algae for him to sustain life so I uh, I took him out and returned him back to the aquatic store so that he'd be safe I've had a, new, I've had a few deaths in this tank and I do not wish to have any more okay let's get on to the tank uh, as you can see uh, we've got a female wrecker, wrecker or wreckfish there's a female and uh, coming alongside is the male uh, the image is not very good at the moment because uh, I think the lights are too intense but hey I'll do my best here they're beautiful fish as you can see um, the male is prominently like a, well he's looking multicolored there but he is actually quite multicolored but he's prominently pink or salmon pink and goes red eventually but he's very pink at the moment and the female fish as you can see there the two females they remain yellow and gold uh, there's Dory trying to get into the action here she's doing very well and there's the Royal Grammar you can see in the background there and I'm just zooming out here to give you some idea of the tank it's so nice kind of detached itself from the uh, wall uh, but there looking good uh, there's the family I kept them as a family because I was advised that these uh, wreck fish do not like to be on their own so I bought the three of them they were together so I didn't want to separate them so I bought all three and uh, they're looking very happy they've only been in the tank now just over a day um, the corals as, I can, as you can see on the walls on the uh, rocks um, I did put them there they're actually detached and, uh, from some mother colony and uh, adhered itself to the rocks so the corals are growing at a beautiful rate um, a lot of it's down to, I'd say the water movement of the tank is exceptionally good and that's uh, all down to that uh, tons weight box I know it's an expensive piece of kit but believe me it's worth the money if you can afford it because uh, the tank seriously does so well when you've got good water movement very important okay let's back to the male ras um, happily there I'm gonna try and get some close-ups of the two and there's me moving around I'm now trying to put the uh, with the lights being too intense I'm gonna shut one of the lights down like on my previous uh, video I have two lights and uh, I have just one blue light on now which is the one nearest to the tank uh, nearest to the front and the white tank and the white light is at the back there the Akiporas are doing extremely well so the lighting for the hard corals are doing extremely well right there I think we can see a bit more of the colour with the light not being so intense um, they're very friendly um, they've got on really well with the uh, other fish let me see now as you can see there's a little bit of green algae a little bit there but nothing serious um, there you go she's not afraid to show herself very beautiful I hope you agree they're a magnificent fish but like I said you know I highly recommend that you buy them uh, as a family if you can you know be good for the fish and there's not many fishes you can put in here that uh, as pairs you know clownfish you can have two of those 
But the majority of the fish, they tend to like to be on their own. Like the Royal Gamma, you just have one of them. Regal Tang, as you know, just like to be on their own. You know, they can be quite fierce if you put two together because they're very territorial. I'm zooming into this little cave here because they do pop out there. There he is, and there she is. And as you can see, they're just saying hello. Look at the markings on those fins. You know, absolutely gorgeous. This is again on my mobile phone, uh, Samsung Note, if you're, in, if you're interested in knowing which phone I'm using. Um, so it's the best I can do out there using the uh, default camera on the phone. 